Welcome everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm going to draft some Outlaws of Thunder Junction today. I've been doing a little bit of MH3, a little bit of OTJ, mixing it up personally. This week I wanted to play some Outlaws of Thunder Junction, so that is what we're drafting today. I also want to quickly address that uh, my gameplay has been down, my content's been down, and that's because I am in mourning. Um, I lost somebody very dear to me, and so it's just been a very difficult month. I do apologize for that, but I'm going to try and get back into the swing of things here. I know most of you would prefer MH3, but like I said, I just uh, need to do something fun for myself here. So this is a bit of uh, a selfish play where I'm not drafting MH3 for you all and doing OTJ just for myself. Uh, but hopefully you can enjoy it and we can have a little bit of fun. And what is this? Oh, this is a first for me. This might be the most difficult first pick I've ever had in this format. Uh, Jerolf? Sphinx or Cruel Ultimatum. No matter what, I'm passing a very good blue card. I could just take the Paladin and say the rest of the table can fight over blue. I don't think that's correct, though. Um, Cruel Ultimatum wins the game on the spot. The other two cards have a good chance of winning the game, but don't necessarily win it on the spot the way Cruel does. Cruel's harder to cast. Jerolf is the most splashable card. So for that reason alone, I think I'm going to take it. But you do have to build around it. So uh, yeah, we're going to do Jerolf and hopefully be able to do something with that. That is a shame. We could have gone Cruel into Scorn. Mm. Maybe I should still take the Scorn. I mean, the problem is black is not really the plot deck. You can plot with black, but it isn't. Um, it also has zombies for Jerolf. It's not like... Terrible, but I think I'd rather have the Cactarantula here. Good choice. Sure Shot is excellent. I do want a certain number of Tumbleweed Risings, but you can usually get them pretty late. Um, I'm going to take the land here, just to make sure that we get enough fixing. Dance of the Tumbleweeds. I'm slamming it. <laughs> uh, Homestead or Gardener? Hmm. That's quite tough. I think the Gardener's safest. But the Homestead is more powerful. I guess I should stay open and take the Homestead. Hmm. Might regret that later. Nice dock. Perfect for plot with a uh, Drolf. Which is kind of why I took the Cactarantula to lean into green. It's nice. Um. It's a good start. Wow, pick eight, dance. Let's go. I always take Dance of the Tumbleweeds over a uh, desert land. Um, even though that desert land was in our teamer colors with uh, blue-green, the uh, Dance of the Tumbleweeds is just the stronger card over the land. Especially with our Sure Shot. It just it gives like the big 7-7 seven, seven haste and trample. It's just a winning combo. I do not have enough plot for Jerolf to be good yet, though. I do have a lot of expensive spells and not enough ways to uh, double, triple, quadruple cast in a single turn. So I do need to work on that through pack 2 and pack 3. Hopefully we get a few things on the wheel. There's definitely like things like Tumbleweed Rising that people don't take unless they are in the plot deck. And that we got docked so late, I'm thinking the plot deck is hopefully open. Wow! Cruel ultimatum wield. If Paladin was not also in this pack, which Paladin should not wield as well, since there were only two green cards in the pack, if Paladin didn't wield, I would be taking Cruel. But I have to take Paladin since Paladin wield, and it goes with our plot deck. But that is brutal to not get Cruel ultimatum on the wheel like that. Wolverine's actually very good in this plot deck, but I'm going to take the land and stay safe and stay open to multicolor nonsense that I like to do. Good. Tumbleweed Rising came around. That's a really late Consuming Ashes. Um, I 
don't know. Was black open though? Like I didn't see any black cards. Wow, second tumbleweed rising. I didn't see any black cards, right? Slick sequence is also playable, but yeah, we have good amount of plot. I want a few more plots. Um, black wasn't open though. As loose that consuming ashes was like, was there just not enough black cards opened in general? Jace is pretty good for this deck. The plot three is not relevant for the plus one. But I think it's smartest and safest to just take the throw from the saddle. Uh, if I was in white, I would take lassoed by the law over a throw from the saddle, but throw from the saddle is too good. And we are definitely in green. And with the paladin wheeling, like, yeah. Green blade slamming it. Um, sorry, paladin number two. Hmm. Still haven't seen any uh, bandits. Like, none of the premium two drops yet for green. Well, <laughs> Green white two drop, or is that too much of a stretch? It's probably too much of a stretch. I should just take the dance of the tumbleweeds over the yes deed, but it is sad to have to pass the steed. <sighs> it's okay. Sharpshooter's good. It's plot removal. This will be decent think. Could have also just taken the uh, varmint there. Two drop and green was the other consideration, but sharpshooter's decent. I think it's funny that our fixing is for black and we have no black spells. Mmm. Very good pack. Loot. I'm a big fan of loot. <laughs> uh, loot the cute has the key to everything. But there's also a second dock here. And an Honest Rutstein. And I think Honest Rutstein is worth considering to splash, but let's take the loot and plan on wheeling the dock, I think. I think there's good odds to dock wheel, so let's let's risk it. It might not, but loot is fine if it doesn't. Crom over Prickly Pear? Is this the first time I'm going to take a Crom over a Prickly Pear? I think it might be. It's that or snakeskin veil. How many creatures do I have? No, I need to take a creature. Let's take the crom. Commando, just because it's plot over Wolverine. Hmm. It's kind of gross. I think we could have had a good cruel ultimatum deck. I'm going to take the land, though. Back from War Wheeling. Wow. I will play this. I have two Black Splash Lands, so. And Triple Dance. I think it's uh, interesting that I have no Gardeners and I have no Bandits. Their Krom is fine. Might not run two, though. They're legendary. I'm gonna take the land. Yep. I mean, we have a uh, Green Blade, so every desert matters. I might run Seize the Secrets. Not the best third pack open for us. Eartha Joe does nothing in our deck. Um, Magda does nothing in our deck. We're not really committing crimes except for our lands. Um, make Your Own Luck is not great here. I mean, Triple Dance of the Tumbleweeds, Plotting Dance of the Tumbleweeds is not very good, but it's still you know, draw three, so it's probably the best we can hope for. Uh, Mesa, perfect land, betrayal of all, or any joins up. We have enough legendary creatures where any joins up can be insane. So I'm going to take it and splash it. Lockpicker is great. Yeah, like any join ups with like loot. And Geralf. 
and Krom. Doesn't really do anything with Doc, but I don't think that matters. I'm really worried about my two drop situation. Um, I could either take a, another slick sequence or I could take the deputy to just make sure I have something on the board and fixes my mana. Since I have no bandits yet. I guess I'll be safe and take the deputy and wheel a plot card or slick sequence. Yeah, I, I can't take a black two drop. <laughs> that is not fixing my two drop problem. Uh, I do need to take a green two drop in the entertainer over the commando. Um, could take the lizard though. A one four does stop up the board, but I have so many non creature spells that I probably just end up killing myself. So I need to take the entertainer. Gardener. Or, I could take Ty. Dollar Desert's Ty is not terrible. I think Gardner's just safer. Yeah. It's a late clear shot. Nice. I don't really like my Both Sizzle. We have another slick sequence, but we could get another one on the wheel. I do not th need three of them. I think I'm going to take a Pulverizer to have two damage and scry possibility in this deck. Nice, another Tumbleweed Rising. I'm not sure I'm going to play three of those. <laughs> uh, Sentry for a two drop. It's not exciting in this deck, but it works. Same with like Mine Raider. Just a random three drop in case I decide I need it. Highway robbery wield out of the plot pack. That's fine. Not the slick sequence though. I was actually expecting the slick sequence back, so that's a little strange. Okay, another desert. All right. Well, the good news is. Uh, everything we drafted is a very playable card. The card quality is very high. Um, could even consider running Seize the Secrets here. I don't think I need to, though. I just need to make nine cuts. It's not bad. Okay. What am I doing? I am playing five color at the moment. Herod <laughs> Archway right, needs to go. Um, I am playing five color at the moment with no bandits. Let's figure out this mana base. Okay. We can get rid of this planes even if we're playing any joins up. We might have to cut any joins up and back for more depending on our mana count here. We have six green at the moment and I need to get that up to seven. I have one land I can give somewhere. I have five mountains. I have five islands. Outrageous number of black sources in four. <laughs> and then one plains. And this would give me seven forests. Seven, five, five. With ample splash opportunities. I think we can run the black and the white cards with this mana base. I do have three Dance of the Tumbleweeds to fetch. And if I fetch the uh, Forbidden Flats, which is the white-black one, I get both my splashes with one fetch. So... I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to sort this by uh, when I'm actually going to be casting it, because I'm going to be plotting a lot. I imagine I'll be very late to the board, so I need to be very mindful about my early game. Hmm. This is a tricky build. I guess I don't need the sentry or the robbery, maybe? 17 plus... I'm at 23 creatures. Definitely can cut down some creature count. 
Chrome can go because it's second legendary. It's kind of too repetitive. I think I want to keep all those other ones. Yeah, the sentry's like just never going to be able to attack in. I don't think I need the fixing from the deputy. Don't really need the fixing from the gardener either. <laughs> oh, all you mana dorks at home screaming. It's fine. Trust me. Tumbleweed rising. Probably don't need three of them. It's a little risk. It's the best card in my deck though. Like to plot. I'd rather plot a Tumbleweed Rising over almost any other card here except for maybe the Sharpshooter. Pulverizer value I guess isn't necessary. We'll be doing enough in the late game with our Tumbleweed Rising that we just don't need to be spending five mana on a basic creature. Three cuts. I think one has to be a Tumbleweed Rising. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Get back your dance. I'm not cutting any of my dances. I'm going to take a Rising out. Um... Yeah, robbery can go. It's good. I just don't need it. I have four creatures I'm willing to play to the board before turn four. I guess mobile homestead has to go. I'm never going to be able to crew it till turn four or five at the earliest. And at that point, like, what's its use? I'd rather be plotting. This looks good. Let's do it. Five color, no bandits, no gardeners, no problems. We'll see. Yep, looks about right. <laughs> we have all our main colors and that's all that matters. Um, we do obviously need to draw a third land, but if we can get there, this hand's pretty ridiculous. Nice. Just missing our white source now. Easy. And I have ways to get it in my hand. <sighs> I was about to say, we kind of want our opponents to go slow. I'm gonna go ahead and plot our rising. I do need to draw a land next turn, and if I don't, I'm going to be dancing, I guess. Or I could plot the lock picker and try and risk it for one more turn. We'll have to see. Mm. Okay. This is this is the risk with this deck, is falling behind. Oof. Yeah, I, I'm just going to draw an extra card here. I lose out on the... Uh, Draw value, but I think the Chrom value is good enough here, just to stabilize me and, and get me going. Yeah. Do need to draw a land though. Okay. Really needed that to be a land. Jeez. Hmm. I can plot this turn or I can dance to get a fifth land and then hopefully draw another one and then start popping off, but. I think I'm going to risk it and plot Lockpicker because if I can draw another land, I can draw off Lockpicker and Rising from my grave all in the same turn. It's a little risky, but... Okay. 
think it's what I need to do. Mm, deck's good. They are on the desert deck. I think they're just black green though. Oh, are we doing a chump attack here? I'm okay with this. Yeah. I'll block. Nice. All right. And they're tapped out, so this is like super safe. Let's go. Uh, I could wait one more turn and make this even better. But then I take four, five. No, I can't wait. I'll fall too far behind. I gotta do it now. Um, yep. Decent. They've milled three lands. <laughs> it's kind of bad for me. That goes my green blade. <sighs> I have some okay attacks here. All of my three threes are good attacks. With clear shot. Perfect. That is what I was hoping for. Nice. Um, this way we get everything. So we're gonna use clear shot from our zombie onto the green blade and take all three creatures with our two. And then we can even follow it up and make another zombie. Okay. I mean, <laughs> triple dance in hand. <laughs> Can start making five fives, but I think I'm going to lead on Cactarantula and hopefully get a land next turn and be able to get the full value for each one of these. Hmm. What is this? I'm gonna go ahead and just do a triple block. Hmm. <laughs> Touche. At least we got a land though. Alright. That's fine. You really shouldn't mill your opponent. Unless you're getting like a crime trigger off of it. It's really just not a good idea. Let's go here.
Mm, actually, if I take the 2-3, uh, two, my 2-2 two, two can attack in. I'll go get my white land. So many spells left. I guess all my land's in my grave. I was like, why is there not enough land here to choose from? But I think they're all in my grave. Hmm. I could get Drolf. I think I'm gonna... Just Cacto Ranch is probably best at this point. Or just another dance. Thin out my deck. Yeah, I'm just gonna thin out my deck. There's no reason not to. Um, okay, I guess they're just done. <laughs> um. Weird attack. Alright, GG. Our deck did the thing. It's gonna be really dicey, for sure. The first, like, four turns are gonna be dicey, I think, every game, considering what we're doing. But if we can live through turn five or six, I think we'll be able to uh, rally back, hopefully, in any any match. So go to the next. This looks great. We have five colors in our start hand. <laughs> Green blade grabbing the uh, white black land will ensure that we have all five colors. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Uh, I mean, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Sure shot in grave. Hurts. Oh, they're fetching. Without knowing what I'm doing? They must have an absolute bomb. Or they needed the land. I'm just gonna assume they needed that land. Badly. Get the flats. I'm not gonna play that out right away. Um, probably Crom next turn. Well, I guess it depends what they do. I hate that my green blade's only a one two though. That's kind of sad. That was all, yeah. They fetched land. Um. I kind of need to kill that Lazav. Which makes this turn super awkward. I have to play out the white land so I can Annie joins up next turn. Because even if it gets a counter, I'll be able to do that. The real question is, do I want to run out of 3-3 three, three and just be mana efficient and say I have other things to do every other turn besides this one? It'll be at least, what, four turns before I can plot this and play it? Yeah, it needs to be a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Not good. <laughs> Crime incoming. Here we go. Uh, you're gonna make it into a sure shot, which is five fives. Oh, thank you. Yep. If I double block, they eat both my creatures. This is why you don't block in this situation. Half to Annie joins up. I'll play a tap land this turn. Guess I'll want double green. 
at my disposal in case I like get a cat tarantula or something. Um, any joins up on Lazav? They're tapped out. This works. We're back in it. Ooh, duelist. Okay. At twelve life. Commando would be a five five. I'd rather have a setup turn. Uh, I should have played out my springs. Whoops. Oh well. That was a small mistake. Nice hits. Let's plot the paladin. You gotta take some damage here. The VAD. Okay. All right, let's start with Krom. Let's see what we hit first. Paladin. Double trigger. Very nice. Love it. Drawn two. Ace <laughs> uh, joins up doing the thing with Krom. Be cooler if we uh, had our giraffe in hand that we drew, but we can't have everything. We did draw a blue land though, that's untapped. So, I think I'm gonna play that out instead of the desert. And then play out Dock. If we had one more green source, we'd be able to do Dock plus Tumbleweed Rising. Can't do loot. Tapped out my red. That's on me. I should have left red open. I could always just Tumbleweed Rising now. It's not bad. I'm okay with this. Again, I mean, if I just played out my springs instead and thought through it a little bit more, I could be taking both of these creatures, but. Oh well. I can always back for more if I want. I have to assume they have some removal. I'm gonna lead on dock and go for a valued play here. I want to throw from the saddle, but. I think it's too easily blown out. Bet this gets rid of the card and plays around a counter spell. Let's go for it. Nice. Nice. Kind of incredible. We're gonna get to double plot. That's fine. We're gonna get to double plot and then uh, next turn just crush and hopefully we draw draw off and have like a yeah, joined up. Do all the triggers. I mean loot would have been good too this turn but this is kind of bonkers. Let's plot. And then we'll uh, plot this as well. <laughs> uh, no, our Chrome. Oh well. Uh, 
prom did its job. With Anna joins up there. That was really nice. We can get it back if we want. They're at 13. I mean, land kills them, plus what we have on the board. But I don't know if I want to reveal that pre-combat. I think what I'd rather do is see if they have removal by doing the uh, lock picker into throw and see what happens. Because that's lethal on its own, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm gonna swing in. Yeah. GG. That was pretty insane. <laughs> hmm. Can't keep this hand, there was no green. This is much better. Unfortunately, I do need to get rid of any joints up. So I don't have a way to get white at the moment. And I'd rather just curve out. Need to draw well here. We could run out of gas pretty easily here. Um, and unfortunately, our Tumbleweed Rising is not very strong at the moment. But Doc Turn 2 into Plot Plot looks good enough. Needed action. Okay, that's good. Let's do tap land into plot plot. And then hopefully Krom can get us some insane value going. I'm gonna trade off my dock. I don't want them to get the scry off the Arnix, and I don't have a good way to kill it in hand, so let's see if they'll take this trade. They're tabbed out, seems safe enough. Yeah, after double plot, <laughs> I figured they'd be too scared to leave it alive. Tiny bones in the bin. That's terrifying. Oh, that's terrifying too. They're plotting their animus. Land is not okay. All right. Let's start here. And this is pretty pitiful, but we need to draw a card. Not great. Got plenty of chonk in my deck, so I just need to draw into it. But that dust animus is a real problem. Yeah. Because now I don't even have a way to get big enough to kill it once it's the board next turn. Oh no. This is how I die. So they're going to have to mess up. We can help. Yeah, they're gonna have to mess up um, and block here and then not have a protection spell, which is highly unlikely. It's possible they eat my creature and my two damage isn't enough. Okay, they didn't do that. Um, yeah, let's just start hopefully drawing our way out of this by drawing an extra card each turn. Looks like they have something. That's a weird choice. I don't think I like that choice. Should have definitely taken loot. 
I mean, I can't draw a card this turn, but it's much better than taking a token. That's pretty fantastic. Okay. Well, we can't kill the Dust Animus this turn, but we can have a pretty big turn all the same. We can plot. Go down to 12. Get rid of the bird. And then next turn will be hopefully incredible. Yeah, because we can make a creature that's four power with all of the spells coming up by doing a quad cast. Yeah, this is going to be fine. This is good. Yeah, so we're going to do a quad cast. <laughs> um, and then we'll be able to throw from the saddle the next turn. This is a lot of hoops just to kill a dust animus. But can't be helped, has to be done. The good news is we're making two 4-4s four here, so that should be big enough to throw. And they can hopefully only kill one of them. Nice, yes. That was nice, thank you. Yeah. It's crazy. Still not sure why they'd been the tiny bones. Man. Infinite amount of enchantment removal over there. Yay! We get to draw an extra card with loot now. <laughs> uh, if this gets blown out, we're we're pretty much dead. But I have to go for it. Yeah. Let's see. Nice. That was really big. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna plot the paladin. I think just for mana efficiency, even though. The entertainer would be fine. Like, I only get punished if I draw land. Let's tack with odds. And I need to be a little careful. I'm at 8 life, so I need to leave back good blocks. Let's just do this. I can't get too aggressive here. I like this block. Basically throw from the saddle, taking two creatures here. With one extra being on that block. It's fine. Ouch. Okay. Could end up losing to that dust animus. Man, double land. Brutal. Punished. <laughs> there was some merit to running out the uh, form flats instead. Like if I draw any joins up, I get punished for doing it this way, but... It's only attack for four. <sighs> oh, please. Please trade. Okay, they did not. Trading would have been great for us. It's okay. The good news is the dust animus is only a three turn clock.
And we're drawing two cards a turn. That helps. Dust Animus makes it so my 4 4 can't attack. This is brutal. They're going to trade with the uh, muscle. But at least my Sure Shot can then trade with the Animus. Medic's fine. Nice. Okay. Come on. I've got three Dance of the Tumbleweeds in my deck. I can't draw one in this situation. It's unbelievably brutal. And the sad thing is I need to plot this commando. Because it does nothing for me as a 4-4. Four -four. I can do some stuff as a 6-6 six, six for me, so no good attacks. That's good. Okay, finally. Jeez Louise. Brutal. Very nice. This is a lot of pressure. I guess I could have attacked all. It's just a little bit. I think it's a little bit too greedy to do that. I'd rather force the trade and then win next turn. It's a good deal for us. Yep. Oof. Well, loot definitely won us that game by drawing us a lot of extra cards and getting us out of that flood. It needs to draw a blue source. I have five in my deck. With three ways to fetch, so that's eight. Well, nine ways to fetch, because of the... Uh, yeah, the Outcaster, Green Blade as well, so. Yeah. Nine ways in my deck to find that island. Hmm. They're playing Counter Magic, I'm sure, with a Haunting. So we'll be able to play around with, with plot and with draw off in hand, I don't really want to cast out my spells anyway. So I guess I'm just going to wait for plot. Could have ran out of commando as a 3-3 there though. But I don't, I don't think that does enough. Given my hand. Okay. Just gonna plot this one. It'd be really nice to get one of those nine ways to get a blue source. Any any turn now. Nine's a lot of ways. <laughs> uh, we'll get it. I'm not worried. We have ways to set up. And our opponent's only hitting us for three each turn here. Come on. Come on, deck. I mean, they have a counter spell. I need to put this on the board so that I don't lose to that key keeper. But 
I mean, I can't play this paladin out. I can plot it. But if I cast it, they're just gonna counter it, so... <laughs> they definitely have a counter spell. It's probably a second phantom interference. They already ditched one of them. They're probably very upset that I plotted there. They're like, why didn't they play it out? They had the five mana plans. They pass here, it's because they're holding open Keykeeper plus counter magic. Okay, well, it's still no blue source, so I have to run this out. There's just no point in holding it back. I need to have two things so that Key Keeper doesn't cut it. I'm actually just going to cast this. They can't counter it. Um, like I said, there's no reason for me to wait. At this point, by the time I get my blue source, I'm going to need to be doing other things besides just Geralt things. And uh, three five fives is looking really strong here. I can't let the haunting kill me, so I need to pressure the board, make them do something. I don't know guys, what would you do if you were my opponent and you had counter magic and you knew your opponent was playing around it and they were going to continue to play around it for the rest of the game? Would you keep holding mana open for it or would you dump your hand out depending on what it is? I know what I would do, but it is an interesting question because you don't want the floodgates to open up just because you left yourself open, but you also can't let them just start running away with the game because they're playing around it. They're in a very interesting spot. There's our blue source. <laughs> uh, if they use mana to tap down, yeah, then they can't counter. So they're definitely holding up in the counter, which means they're preventing us from getting a 7-7. Seven, seven. So that was worth it, right? Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to run into the counter. Um, uh, blue untapped means I can play lockpicker on plot this turn. It's probably better than getting a desert. <laughs> uh, counter is going to rot in their hand. Okay. Uh, that was a very interesting move. They're gonna tether my paladin now, I guess? No. Okay. Interesting. That's very interesting.
Hmm. I think it's time. And I mean, no, it doesn't make the tumbleweeds as large as I would like. We have to do the rising, not the uh, other one. Um, but this is still a decent turn. We could just do the commando instead, but then we'd lose the value on the rising. And if I ran out my commando, I would get a 4-4 four four from Geralt, but then not get the 5-5. Five five. I'm not going to play it out. I just really don't want them to get any value from that counter in their hand. It's just a dead card as far as I'm concerned. And this board does put them in a very awkward spot. Yep. Let's get two. Let's attack with our three threes. Pretty good attacks. That's fine. So their counter magic is down for this turn. So we can do a pretty big turn and not worry. So let's go green blade. I think I want to fetch a desert with blue on it. Let's go with dark. And then I'm going to hard cast this commando. They're tapped out of their counter. Just get on the board. We're wide enough here. They're in some real trouble. Looks like at the end of the day probably should have played out the commando with Giraffe on the board and made the 4-4 instead. Obviously I would have had a better creature and I would have been attacking in with it last turn. They would have probably had to block with something. Hmm. I mean yeah. I mean obviously I thought I would be plotting the commando so looks like they're doing a hand dump. Double key keeper Makes this board state really interesting. I do need to be careful that they can't kill me on the crackback with being able to tap down my stuff, but yeah. Make your own luck is pretty incredible top deck here. Let's see what we get. <laughs> well, we're gonna plot this because they still have the counter in their hand. Yeah, maybe I should have forked it. Withdraw off on the board, still get value off of it. I mean, the problem is they might have two. Oh. They tap down. Okay. Hmm. Well, in that case. Double tap. Block, block. 
I can't go with all of it. Let's just go here. <laughs> you gotta love seeing the splasher. Last card in hand is the counter magic. Um, they can make a spirit with it though. So I need to be mindful of that in terms of counting blockers. But, I mean, haste to trample for green blade plus this rising seems like I do not care about that spirit that you're making. Yeah. GG. Interesting game. I always uh, enjoy playing against control decks uh, and dealing with the puzzle. Like I said, I think the uh, correct line was me forking the counter spell with Tarolf on the board and getting a 4-4 out of the deal, but decided not to go that way. But maybe I should have. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting game. This is great. Um. Yeah. I mean, just gonna try and go for as much value as possible here. with the splashers today. I don't think I've ever seen opponents play so many splashers. Uh, I think we need to grab red here. It's tempting to grab white though. Like really tempting to grab my flats, but I think I do need to grab the, uh, the red's horse since it's one of our main colors. I mean, that's a decent combo, but still. <laughs> uh, this is funny. Yep. I'm just gonna set up for a very large turn. I guess I should attack. I mean, I'm not killing the splasher. So, I'm gonna get the crime no matter what I do. Trading two damage for three seems okay. I mean, this is like perfect for a deck because they're not really putting a lot of life total pressure, so we'll just be able to accumulate as much value as we want um, while they don't pressure us. They are drawing cards in the meantime though, but I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I mean, I might as well get the splasher off the board so that they don't get that value anymore. bit of a problem. We do have back for more though, so we can kind of take advantage of the mill, but it is a problem. I'm gonna make my own luck, I think. Just one more turn. Nice. Uh... I guess tumbleweeds rising, being plotted, benefits us the most. Again, like I said, when I was building the deck, Dance of the Tumbleweeds is super awkward with Make Your Own Luck. But, not gonna complain, it's still a good draw. This is gonna look really sus, because I'm not playing out my sharpshooter, but I'm gonna just pass. If I was them, I'd be terrified that my opponent would have, like, a railway brawler that they're saving up for or something ridiculous. <laughs> um... You know... I actually think Dance of the Tumbleweeds is probably the best move here. I mean... I make a big creature. It makes my Tumbleweed Rising better. And it'll allow us to pop off with a uh, Giraffe even better, so... I'm gonna go ahead and grab my uh, white splash, I think. Yeah. Get all colors on the board. I have an okay attack here. It allows me to get rid of their crab, which I'm most worried about being milled out, so... Yeah. I mean, I'm not worried about that beaver. A 4-4 four four is nothing compared to the chonk I'm about to get, so... Yeah. Nice. Good deal. fine. Okay, I think this is the turn. That's a good draw too. Let's uh, start going for it. Just need to make sure I'm not tapping out my colors wrong here. Yes. I'm going to leave a sharpshooter next. I think it makes the most sense. Trigger. Now I'll go with a rising. Make an 8-8 eight, eight and a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, they should have played that way earlier. Wow, they let me get, like, three zombies here unnecessarily. I'm gonna be able to slick sequence in response to be able to not only draw a card, but trigger another zombie. That's crazy. And they could have gotten rid of my 8-8, like... 
I mean, yeah, I would still have a wide board, but at least my wouldn't be making a bunch of eight eights. Like, how how do they plan on winning against these eight eights? Like, that's ridiculous. Get rid of their crab again. Like, the only way they beat us is like villainous wealth and mill us out or something crazy, or our crab trap. Yeah, I mean, you kill the eight eight. It's a, I still get a bajillion zombies. You don't kill. I don't know. They just sort of made up their mind. As soon as I cast the first spell, the sharpshooter. Actually, even before that, they should have just seen it. As soon as I cast drop, they should have responded. They they let me get three zombies there for absolutely no reason for free. Although I, I would argue the eight eights are the bigger problem than the zombies, but I mean they would have both been problematic. I don't think there was a way for them to win around that. And intimidation campaign's just not good enough here. Would love to have my uh thing that gives trample, but that would be so troll. <laughs> I'm so troll. That's fine. Uh. <laughs> uh. They live at one because I decided to fight life linker GG this deck's incredible <laughs> uh, draw doing draw things maybe this is why I like OTJ more than uh MH3 is just, I mean, I guess I laugh when I pop off in MH3 too. It's just the problem is, is that your opponent is popping off as well, like every game. So it's just a matter of who's on the play first and does their thing first. And it's just, it's such a fast format that it's just miserable. So this format has room to breathe at least to do the cool thing. This looks fine. <laughs> it's missing a blue source again, which is a little ironic, but at least has dance in hand to get it. We could get out our road here. We have a slow hand against red white, yep. Well, that dog might just kill us. It's a plot. Hmm. Really wanted to draw land there. <sighs> Priced into doing this though, I think, for the turn. I need land off the top. Doesn't even matter what color it is. That works. I need to get a desert. It needs to be a green desert. I don't think I have a green blue one though. I do not. So am I forsaking my make your own luck just to get Cactarantula on the board? I think that's right. Mm. But make your own luck, I'll get a green land probably. Let's do that. We also have Dance with Tumbleweeds, so like I can get second green eventually. But I have to assume make your own luck's gonna hit a forest. If I draw three cards, right? Ooh. Bashing verse is a good one. 
take this trade. Yeah, it looks like they weren't able to get underneath us. Should probably win this game pretty easily from here. Got a lot of value. I'm trying to think like what cards like Outlaw's Merriment could be a problem. Yeah. Um, that's not that. That's good. It's fine too. All right. I guess they could be splashing for a Bruce Tarl. Hmm. Let's try and find that a uh, forest. <laughs> oh, uh, plot. I guess I should plot the Annie joins up because it's harder to cast. But the sharpshooter does two damage. Yeah, I'll plot this. Kill their uh, their plunder. And then I can tack with my uh, sure shot this turn. <sighs> Keep the pressure up. It's fine. All right. Um. Dance of the tumbleweeds next turn seems good, actually. Uh, wait. If I discard Cactarantula, I can back for more it next turn. That's probably better. That's disgusting, actually. Yeah. Thank you, friend. Fantastic. Really? There we go, two green sources. <clears throat> <clears throat> but doesn't matter. Back from war is very good here. I'm gonna do it pre-combat so it gets haste as well. Well, I guess I'm not attacking into a 2-2. Oops. Never mind. I guess I can still attack here. It's fine. I'm surprised they didn't want to save the activation of Hustler for my turn. I think just the big chonker is more than good enough here. Guess I'll get a desert. Yeah, I don't care how they block here. They have to put a certain amount on the uh, Trampler. And then if they double block the Sharpshooter, I can choose which one I take. I'm looking pretty dead. Which means we'll be 6-0 and oh to start this draft. Could this be a perfect draft? Probably. Nice. Take Hustler. <laughs> really? Uh. Still just dead. Fun times. Go. It's 
This looks great. Um, I guess I'll keep all my spells and ditch the island. I think there is some merit to ditching Dance of the Tumbleweeds instead, but if I draw all three lands in my first three draw steps, I'm going to want that dance, so... It's just a little bit of a slow hand and I have not enough plot value. Yeah. I mean, luckily our opponent's going slow. Um, looks like they're kind of doing the same thing as us there. Um, yeah, I'll just plot the lock picker. It's possible they're holding open a counter. Um, but maybe I'll just go get a land instead. Freeze up next turn to do the sharpshooter. Also ensures that I hit all of my colors here for any joins up. Nice. So there was no pause, so they don't have counter magic. Um, I mean, I think Teamer is one of the scary. Oh, they're four color. I was about to say, I think Teamer is one of the scariest color combinations in the format. Um, there's just so many great cards that your opponent can drop on you. I guess we'll go for the most expensive plot here. Yeah, we're like in rock sand territory and they're peddling. That's it's kind of nuts. Discarding a scorn. Is that scorn? No. Yes, it is. Okay, well, we'll just keep plotting. Um, we need to be patient. Drolf is looking really good next turn. <sighs> I can add a lot of pressure to the board or I can try and deal with that Sphinx right now. I think I'm going to try and deal with the Sphinx. They're pretty much tapped out. They have a snakeskin veil. This is really bad. Like, I could do any joins up and try and get a bunch of value with your off. I kind of want to do that. But then I can't pay the ward, so... I guess I'm going to go with Paladin and Saddle. Just so I can pay the ward, too. This is kind of... Unfortunate, though. If we had topped a land... Instead of throw from the saddle, I think Annie joins up is like an instant slam. And then we can like multi-trigger on draw. If it looks like they do have something. This is bad. Yeah, it's the veil. Oh. I should have just added to my board and gone for pressure. Now it's out of range for any joins up. Like, if we had drawn one more land, yeah, and still throw from saddle, I can any joins up and I still have value on the board for Giralf next turn. That might have just killed us. That snakeskin veil probably is the game. I mean, maybe I played it wrong. But I can't any joins up because I don't have the extra land for the ward. Yeah, I don't know. This is not as good as it could have been. Might not be good enough to win this game. I wonder if I was supposed to Annie joins up despite not having a good target. 
and then going for a huge turn with Paladin, Sharpshooter, and uh, Tumbleweeds the following turn. And getting like a million zombies. Maybe that would have been the better play. Just ignoring their pressure and just saying, well, I'm going to go so wide that you can't possibly win. Ah, why didn't I draw a land instead of throw from the saddle? I mean, one more land and that would have been my line anyway. That's frustrating. What is this? I can't win on the back crack. I'm very close. Eight. Nine, ten, thirteen. I can get him to one on the back crack if I just do this. Desert off the top wins. No, I'm not one off. <sighs> Have to jump. Yep. <sighs> I cannot buy a land. I mean, because I could any joins up if I have a land after attacking in and they block with the Sphinx. This is just so frustrating. I think I have to like lock picker into rising here. Because I can't even throw because I can't pay the ward. I mean, I could throw, I guess, just to be able to attack in. Misery. It's gotta be rising. I have to make an attack here. Or else I just lose. I guess I'm gonna go... Like this.
Ah, oh, come on, really? <sighs> oh. That's so frustrating. I think I played that wrong, but... I mean, one land off the top and I can play that completely differently, and I think we win. Okay. Not a perfect. That's disappointing. That's okay. I need to draw land. It's good otherwise. I'm gonna keep it. I do need to, like, rip three lands off the top. There's one. I will be slick sequencing that. There's two lands. Okay. This is promising. Hmm. Loot doesn't really do much here. I think I'd rather just go fetch a land. Let's get the flats, have all of our colors on the board. Start slamming some big things, right? They want to tap down the Cactarantula. They have to uh, let me draw cards for it. Seems like a good place to be. I see. That's fine. I still get one card. less mana efficient, but I do want to kill their tapper, I think. Actually, no. I need to be more mana efficient. I can plot and do loot next turn. It's better. Yep, take five. Okay. I mean, this is totally beatable. Alright, so we're gonna kill the tapper, and then play out loot the cute. And then we'll have make your unlock next turn. Why is it trying to tap me out of being able to play loot? Is the real question here. Glad I checked. Let's get rid of the tapper. Let's go with loot. We're still going to go down to like really okay. At least I don't have a mount. What are they getting back? Tether, right? And they can't play it this turn. Hmm. Yeah.
Okay, that's the turn off we needed. Straws cupboards. And you're kidding. Okay, uh, let's start with make your own luck then. <laughs> hello? Deck? Hello? What is this? Did I really just draw like five lands in a row? I mean, this is how we die. They're gonna tether the sharpshooter. Unbelievable. Yep. Get on a four. There's some merit to block here with the sharpshooter. I don't know why they didn't tether pre combat. Tarantula, that's why. Okay. Okay, that's something. Because they have tether in hand, I have to back for more of the flyer so I don't die. Uh, that's unfortunate. I don't think I can do Entertainer in response to make my character angel too big for the clouds. Yeah, I have to fight. I don't even get to do the trigger of the Entertainer. That's unfortunate. I mean, we're not in a terrible spot, but we're not in a good spot. I'm gonna take one extra damage this turn to make a 6-6. Six, six. Because the gold pan can go on for Cactarantula. I need 6 defense on the board. They're probably going to equip it with gold pan, though. I mean, they're on like, what, five lands over there? This is ridiculous. Drawn so many cards, but they're all lands. Okay. Well, they didn't equip, so they have a trick. Um, hmm. I have to assume it's like the thing that gives indestructible. Yeah, they top deck trick. This is ridiculous. Like, this is an insane draw. Their deck is so not that great. Yeah. We're just getting rocked by their top decks. And we can't draw anything but land. How many lands have we drawn? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands. Yep. 13 lands to 5. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Yep. Actually, that might be one of the best draws we could have had. Let's say we're definitely dead, but... Not anymore. Fortunately, we do need to do... Yeah. We do need to do back for more.
It's gotta be Cactarantula too, because it needs to be able to survive the fight. Then we just need to top deck something. This is a bad attack. Attacking with the 2 3 is bad. There you go. Yeah, I have to double block here. Which means I need to get a spell next turn. And if they lay down anything in hand, I can't beat it. I'm going to flip the table. Absolutely incredible. Five, six, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Fourteen lands. Fifteen cards left in deck. Fourteen in the top twenty-five cards. I'm not salty. <laughs> Are you? I'm definitely salty. That was... That was a draw. Variants. It's part of magic. Yikes. <laughs> it's incredible. <sighs> anyway. For the trophy. Have to do it this time. Surely we won't be screwed. I don't even know if this hand's keepable. Entertainer and Paladin? Is that good enough? I guess so. If this is how we lose, flood into screw, I'm going to be quite sad. <laughs> I almost don't want to play out this entertainer, but I will. It's probably going to die to like Thunder Salvo incoming. Slick shot into Thunder Salvo, anybody? Yep. Oh, even more slick sequence. All right. <sighs> I'm okay. It's gonna be okay. Breathe. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I have so many sources that are red and blue. Uh Good. It's the second one. On plot. Not even played out. I feel like they should have played it out so they get one more damage in, right? Like, why wouldn't you just play it out? It's the same cost. There's the red source, at least. And we can get rid of one of them at the moment. fine. Great. And you have nothing to target, so that's fine. Alright. Uh, if they bounce, we've got some problems. But hopefully the gaining three life is going to be enough. They could have a counter spell, and that would really hurt here. Like, really badly. 
I almost think I should play around the counter magic and go ahead and just go get a land here. I guess I could plot just to be really safe. I mean, it does mean that I'm taking more damage. Go here. Can I like take the fall to eat my sharpshooter? Blast. Okay, works too. Good top deck. All right. Um, now they don't have their counter magic open, so do paladin. Sure shot. No tax. Like seeing that. I guess this is safest. I still think they have a counter spell. No attacks yet. Close. We'll be able to haste out the tumbleweeds next turn. I mean, if they counter it now, so be it. Trying to tap me out of slick sequence here. Let's go for it. I'm gonna do it on the thing that pumps. Go for eight. Loot technically would draw us four cards, basically. With Annie joins up. I see. Now that they have crab, I'm not so sure I want to do that though. I don't want to mill myself out and help them if that's their game plan. Yeah, I think I'm better off making another big creature, just trying to pressure instead. GG. Alright. Glad the deck got there in the end. That was kind of dicey. Two games in a row before this were <laughs> unfortunate. Um, but yeah, nice trophy, cool deck, um, that was really fun. Thanks for joining me, and, uh, I will see you next time, next week. Should have another video, might be MH3 next week, I've been playing a little bit of each, uh, format. Just trying to enjoy whatever I feel like that day, because I kind of like both formats, so. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.